the ischemia trial tested two routinely used strategies for managing patients with chronic coronary disease. One is you have a very abnormal stress test, you go to the cardiac catheterization laboratory, you have your coronaries visualized, and you have stents or bypass surgery versus a conservative strategy of medications alone and have the catheterization reserved for failure of medical therapy. The initial trial phase, we reported that there was no real overall difference in the outcomes of cardiovascular death or heart attack or other endpoints after four years, except angina was better for those who had angina. We've now presented much more robust data on the risk of cardiovascular death, non-cardiovascular death, and all-cause death at the American Heart Association meetings in Chicago. At seven years, we had almost double the number of deaths, and we showed that survival was the same in both strategies. However, cardiovascular death was reduced, and not cardiovascular death, for reasons we don't understand, was increased to an extent that just offset the amount of reduction of cardiovascular death with the invasive strategy. The key takeaway from extended follow-up of the ischemia trial is that at seven years, survival was the same with an initial invasive strategy or conservative strategy. So this means that patients and their physicians need to engage in what we call shared decision-making. What's the patient's preference? If they have angina, that they're dissatisfied with their quality of life, pursue an invasive strategy. If they don't, if they're medically managed well, then they don't need to pursue an invasive strategy, but it is safe to pursue it.